There's a Eugene company that makes lightweight electric vehicles that could be the solution to a few problems plaguing the environment. Mark Fronmeyer founded Arkimoto back in 2011. And while the company has seen some problems over the years, it has found some success recently. That's the topic of this week's Willamette Week cover story. And joining us is the article's author, Anthony Effinger. And Anthony, thank you for being here. We appreciate it very much. Of course, how are you? I'm fantastic. I'm fascinated by this story. I want to talk about it. How is the Arkimoto different from other electric vehicles and how could this change the future of transportation? So it's uh, it's different in that it's uh, it's three wheels. Um, it's fast. It goes about 75 miles an hour. It's pretty slick and sleek. And the idea is this thing fits in between your car and your bike. So if you're going to drive your big SUV to the grocery store to get like a, you know, a dozen eggs, take the Arkimoto instead, especially if the grocery store is a little further than you want to go on your bike. So he's trying to fit in that niche. This company has been compared to Tesla. And in fact, Mark Fronmeyer and Elon Musk know each other. How does that relationship go back? What happened there? So this is funny. It has nothing to do with electric vehicles. They just happen to know uh, a friend in common, and they went camping in uh, California, car camping. I guess Elon Musk car camps. Uh, who knew? Um, but they went car camping years ago when Mark was just getting going on this, and um, and Elon was, you know, he was just a multi-millionaire back then. He wasn't a billionaire yet. And uh, they compared notes. And the crazy thing is that Elon was like, you know, I don't know about this thing. It looks like a golf cart. <laughs> so, and uh, Mark Fronmeyer was like, well, you know, wait till you see it. And so then Elon got in one the first time and actually crashed it into a retaining wall. Uh, and he has a little bit of a track record with crashes. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, in the article, you talk about uh, Fronmeyer leading a relatively uh, modest life. Of course, the Fronmeyer name is, is very big in the state of Oregon. What motivated him to start this company? Yeah, you know, I've I, I've written about a lot of CEOs in my time. I was at Bloomberg for a long time, and I wrote about hedge fund managers, and I've never met a CEO quite like Mark Frommeyer. He has two roommates in his house. Um, I can't tell that he cares much about money. He really, really um, got fixated on fixing the climate, and he had a windfall from a video game company years ago, and he plowed it all into a company making electric cars. Um, and he's just, he's been through, um, he's been through a lot uh, to make this go. And he's just, he's just persistent. Arkimoto has been expanding uh, recently. What does the future look like if things continue on this course? Okay, so the, the worst case is that, you know, the company fails like so many companies do who try to crack into the motorcycle automotive market. I mean, it's tough. I mean, profit margins in this business, as you probably know, are, are not great. The best case scenario is that Arkimoto becomes sort of the nucleus of a, an electric vehicle um, ecosystem in Oregon. It's something that, that people here have been trying to build for years. They've been trying to foster an electric vehicle manufacturing base here. And a lot of people I talk to think that Arkimoto has the best shot at kind of being, say, what Nike is to footwear here, what Intel is to integrated circuits. Now this is these are early days, of course, and it's a young company, and you know a lot of things can go wrong, but that's the hope. Well, meteorologist Dave Selesky wants one, so if you can get him one, he'd appreciate that very much. Anthony, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. You bet. Thank you. You bet. Take care. You can read the entire article in the latest edition of Willamette Week on newsstands now or online at wweek.com.